this morning. We're starting off cool again, but not as cool as yesterday. It's actually technically above normal. Our normal low for this time of year is 35 degrees in Syracuse. North Syracuse right now is at 40 degrees. Downtown's at 43, and a lot of places are waking up in the low 40s. Just a few places could have some frost on the ground, like 30 over in Sherburne. Maybe some frost in Binghamton at, at 32. Ithaca dropped all the way down to 24, and Cortland is at 27. Kathy from Verona Beach gave us a frosty 30 degrees. Todd from Rustdale was in the 20s and Carol from Redfield tacked on 10 degrees from yesterday. Remember, she started off at 18 degrees. Now she's sitting at 28. So it is crisp out there, but things really start to change as we head into the afternoon. Triple Doppler brought to you by RomanoCars.com stays dry all day long. Our winds now, instead of coming from the north and northwest like all of this cloud cover is moving, we're starting to get into a southwesterly flow, and that's going to bring in some milder air and kind of help bump our temperatures up a little bit when you pair that with bright sunshine today. We'll time it out for you hour by hour with the future cast. We start off in the low 40s because of that nice bright sunshine here in Syracuse and the southerly wind. A lot of us will be looking at highs in the mid to maybe even upper 50s for some. Only exception will be the further north you head. Some of that cloud cover will be a little bit more stubborn. They may be hanging back in the low 50s for highs today, but overall really not bad when our normal high is 50 degrees. We'll be almost 5 to 10 degrees above normal today, and I think we keep that around in the forecast for the next at least day. Uh, 58 is our high for Monday. More filtered sunshine, not bright blue sky like we'll see today. Things change Tuesday, Wednesday. We talked yesterday briefly about a coastal system that at that time looked like a miss. Swinging back a little bit closer to central New York, so we'll put some extra cloud cover in the day on Tuesday. Any showers will be confined into the afternoon and evening after we hit a high of 56 on Wednesday. That's when that system is kind of just on our doorstep. Best chance for showers over these two days will be east of 81. So if you live in the Finger Lakes, you might get lucky. I would plan for just a chance of a few showers. We dry it out and we turn just downright mild back into the 60s by next weekend. So make sure you get our Weather Authority app brought to you by CNYRealtor.com, interactive Doppler, an hour-by-hour -hour forecast, and a 10-day forecast to help you plan out your day.